Hello there, fellow cloud gurus. I'm glad you could join me for this episode of Azure This Week. I've got a mixed bag of Azure candy for you this time, and that includes the public preview of Windows container support in Azure App Services, the Azure Cosmos DB JavaScript SDK 2.0 is now in public preview, the general availability of Azure SQL database reserved capacity, and then a shout out to another great Azure series. All this coming up on Azure This Week. So stay in your seat unless you're walking or standing up. We kick off this episode with a thank you to you, dear viewer, because you continue to come back and watch the show. We were this week included in the Azure Weekly Update from Microsoft. Very exciting, and it is all due to you, so thank you. Containers are still hot. There's a lot of focus on the new trend in infrastructure, and rightly so. Now in public preview, Azure App Services are supporting Windows Container Technology. This means that Azure has enabled new opportunities that includes lift and shift to PaaS. So that's a lot of buzzwords in a few words, but it means that you can take your existing container, lift, and place it directly into an Azure App Service, shift. PaaS is a platform as a service, meaning you don't manage any servers or any other infrastructure. Custom dependencies. Deploying an app within a Windows container allows customers to install custom dependencies. Examples include installation of custom fonts or component libraries, which must be installed into the global assembly cache, or the GAC. What used to be called Azure Table Storage has evolved into what is now Cosmos DB. It's a low latency and highly scalable database implementation that supports NoSQL natively. It is cheap to run, and it is easy to use from almost any framework and platform. Cosmos DB now has a new JavaScript SDK, version 2.0 to be exact, which is all written in TypeScript. The object model for the SDK has been redesigned, and support for promises has been added. If you do any JavaScript development, promises are a godsend for efficiency. Use the link below to learn more about all of the changes and features available with the new update. Just like we mentioned in the last episode about reserving virtual machines for one or three years, you can now also do this with Azure SQL databases. The option is currently in public preview, and this offering is mainly to save you money in exchange for committing to a longer period of use. But it is worth mentioning that SQL Server from Azure is going from strength to strength. And if you have an on-premises SQL Server, there are lots of hybrid models to take advantage of benefits to both on-premises and cloud implementations. In this case, Microsoft is promising savings up to 80% for using the reserved instances of SQL Server on Azure. Before we end this week, I want to give a shout out to another great show on Azure. Azure Friday is quick to watch and hands-on for both new and established features and products on Azure. Often hosted by none other than Scott Hanselman, these short and practical episodes are a great way to get introduced to parts of Azure that you might otherwise not have known about. That's it for this episode of Azure This Week. To recap, the Windows container support in Azure App Services is now in public preview. Azure Cosmos DB JavaScript SDK 2.0, bit of a mouthful, now in public preview as well. There are some really cool features in, in that update as well, so check it out. Azure SQL database reserved capacity is now in general availability, letting you save some bananas by signing up for SQL Server instances for one or three years. And then finally, check out Azure Fridays on Microsoft's Channel 9. See you soon for more Magic Cloud Sprinkles. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.